The Feast of the Hunter's Moon. This is a recreation of the annual fall gathering of the French and Native Americans which took place in the mid-1700s at Fort Wyatnon, a fur trading outpost. The story of the Feast of the Hunter's Moon is about the community that has been formed and nurtured for nearly half a century in this place called Weatanon. Welcome to Weatanon, which means where the waters go around. A place where nearly 300 years ago, Native American and European cultures first met. The feast, first and foremost, is an um, excellent example of a living history educational event. And the education that we're able to give uh, both children and adults by coming out here and seeing history is, is our primary mission. This program includes footage of the feast gathered over the last five years. It is dedicated to the many organizers, volunteers, and families who come back to the feast year after year and generation after generation. Understand that the stories told here only scratch the surface of all there is to see and learn at the Feast of the Hunter's Moon. At the feast, various communities of interest are forged together, devoted to a common goal of sharing history and educating themselves and the public about a time in Indiana history that began nearly a century before statehood. My goal in conveying this story is to document the sincerity and passion with which this unique community approaches their individual parts of the Fort Wyatnon story. A feast is the way to tell the story in a visually vivid and entertaining way that no other venue can capture. We have 6,800 participants that all come together and we work as a team and what you see, you know, it's 18th century come to life. It's hard not to be overwhelmed when you first experience the feast because there are so many ways to enjoy the experience. First of all, it's a grand spectacle with events like the opening and closing ceremonies and the welcoming of the Voyager canoes on the Wabash River. The sounds of muskets, cannons, fife and drum and bagpipes are constant throughout the weekend, while the smell of wood smoke from campfires with participants cooking over open fires permeates the air, along with the aromas of fresh pioneer food served throughout the grounds. Many of us have been together for many years. We come from so many different states. At the feast, we, it's a family reunion. We get to see each other, catch up on news, weddings, births, you know, share children, share joyous news in our lives, and share the sad news too, just like families do. But the neat thing about the feast family is it's an open family. And that's one thing I'm particularly proud of, that new people can come on board if they have that same passion for the feast and become a the larger feast family. It's been amazing to see people who were conceived here, married here, and even a few whose ashes are scattered here. It's meant that much to them. The friendships that extend is kind of the cement, as yeah. much, certainly as much as the history. The history is almost a, an excuse for the, <laughs> yeah. for the good times. There is seemingly something for everyone to experience at the Feast of the Hunter's Moon. As parents and grandparents watch and share with a child's fascination in some element of the feast, there is a timelessness feel that is contagious. The feast brings out the little boy or little girl in us that we had somehow forgotten still existed. Some of us feel like we've discovered our own Brigadoon, a little world hidden in time that somehow has magically appeared before us here at the Feast of the Hunter's Moon.